What do I what do I do? What are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Do I do I tell you what I'm doing? These four days are dedicated to the IAs in science for um, group four. I don't know, mister, I wanna say. So I am measuring the transpiration rates in plants um, and the effect of temperature, wind and humidity that it has on it. And I'm doing that by measuring the um, initial mass of the plant and then the final mass after a certain amount of time. Um, and it should, I mean, according to my hypothesis, it should decrease as the temperature increases. It's a humidity meter to measure the humidity. So I can kind of, I don't know if you can really see it. Okay. Yeah, I put it like in there and then it shows me the humidity of the plants. And then this is a light meter, which shows me the, the light intensity. Keep it ready. We grew bacteria and we're testing different antibacterial substances on it. Uh, so he was testing different toothpaste and different mouthwashes. And I was testing different ingredients of hand sanitizer to determine which ingredient in hand sanitizer is the antibacterial one. So this is a light box and these are the petri dishes in which we grew the bacteria and then yesterday we added the antibacterial substances uh, and we left them overnight in the incubator. So now we're using this sheet of graph paper to count how many squares are covered by bacteria in order to determine how, which substance killed most bacteria. She actually wants to be a scientist though. Put it a cover slip, and we'll have a look at it just like that. And this, keep it, don't throw it away, label it, and it's maybe, maybe we're going to use that later too. So I was told that there's a student back here in this, the bowels of the school. I've never actually been back here, kind of behind the science labs in the basement, but apparently she's back here doing an experiment, playing with light. Let's find out more. So this is an aquatic plant. Um, I take it, I cut it, and I put it in the graduated cylinder. Uh, I also add um, sodium carbonate to it uh, in order to um, like increase the concentration of carbon dioxide. So then we can measure the oxygen. And we measure the oxygen through um, oxygen bubbles that are formed because of photosynthesis. So the higher the amount of oxygen bubbles, the higher the rate of photosynthesis. I've noticed that colors like blue and red um, actually increase the rate of photosynthesis. And the green, because um, the plant leaves have chlorophyll, um, it reflects the light. So basically, I'm pretty sure that's what decreases the rate of photosynthesis. So basically yesterday, um, I tried my original experiment for the entire day, basically. And what my original experiment was, was I would take like these leaf discs, I would, so I would cut um, circles out of leaves, uh, specifically basil leaves, and I was going to take the oxygen, I did take the oxygen out of them with a syringe uh, by creating a light vacuum to take out all that oxygen, and all the leaves then sunk. Um, but the problem was they weren't floating, so I changed pretty much everything I could think of. Um, I changed the carbon dioxide concentration, the, uh, the way that I was cutting the leaf disc, the light source, the light intensity. I even tried some outside and it wasn't working. And the conclusion that I've come to is that the problem was that the leaves were too young. So I did some uh, pre-trials at home where I used um, basil leaves from the supermarket, so they were just bought, they were already ready to, for cooking. But what I did for um, my IAs is I went and I bought a basil plant from the supermarket instead of actual basil leaves. Um, so that's where I think it went wrong. Um, but then today, I'm going a different path and I'm um, using this oximeter, which um, basically measures the concentration of oxygen in uh, water. So I'm using a different plant, an aquatic plant. Um, and I'm measuring, I'm measuring it at different light intensities. Doing some uh, reaction using fermentation in glucose 
with glucose and yeast, and I'm checking the carbon dioxide production now, every 30 seconds. This is glucose and yeast together with distilled water, and these are the other sugars because I'm testing in uh, different types of sugar the, how the reaction is going to occur. This is lactose, sucrose, fructose, and maltose. This was the glucose. For me, I, I love doing science, so just having two days to just spend in the lab, or four days for me, because I also do physics, it's been a lot of fun. There's been a couple challenges that have popped up that were unexpected, but half the fun is trying to figure out how to work around those to make sure you get a, a good result or a result that you can write a report on anyways.